Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to share to you um, the videos made by my two students from STEM. Uh, and they are Hans and Dexter. Thank you very much for allowing me to upload your videos. And um, shout out to my STEM students ko from last year and also for this year for their support sa aking YouTube channel. So hi, this is Dexter Raphael A. Korean and we are about to do some science and make some interesting rock candies. Let us have these steps and procedures in order for us to have that amazing crystallized rock candy. Dexter again. So while we are doing the second trial, let us first know the science behind our rock candy. We know that water and sugar are both molecules. So when we heat up the water, the molecules of water spread apart. And then we have lots of space. We can bring the sugar into the solution. And now that we have all the sugar into the solution, this is now called a super saturated solution and as our solution cools the sugar begins to crystallize and these crystals formed our rock candies let us find out
Thanks for watching. Hello STEM students. So we will be making rock candy sticks. My name is Hans Nicole Diaz and I will be their guide throughout the process. These are the objectives of our experiment. And these are the materials and ingredients. We need 1 cup of water, 1.5 cup of sugar, barbecue sticks, food coloring, empty glass containers, measuring cups, and parchment paper. So without further ado, let's go! Step 1 is to dip a stick into a liquid, either water or sugar syrup, and coat it with sugar afterwards. It will, this will ensure that the sugar will stick into our growing medium. Step number 2 is place them on a parchment paper and to rest and set aside. Let us now proceed in preparing and heating the sugar solution. Step number 3 in a saucepan, combine 1 cup of water and 1.5 and cup of sugar. Add and dilute the sugar gradually to form a homogeneous mixture. In my case, I divided or parted the sugar into 3 parts so that I, will en I can ensure that the sugar will be so diluted eventually. I also added it gradually while I am stirring the solution in the pot. Given that the percentage of our solute is greater than that of the solvent, we now have a super saturated solution. The super saturated solution that we want after mixing the water and, unif and sugar uniformly. Step 4 is to open the heat and cook the super saturated solution for at most 5 to 7 minutes. Stir it gradually. It is important that we stir it gradually so that it will not burn or the, solu or the sugar particles will not settle at the bottom and, and later on prevent us in effectively making the solution that we want. Take your time in stirring. Let the solution simmer. Do not burn the mixture as it will hinder the formation of sugar crystals. Keep on cooking the sugar solution until it reached a consistency similar to that of honey. Step number 5. Cool the solution down for a couple of minutes. Ensure that the mixture is still slightly warm to the touch. You don't have to touch the mixture because it's still warm. You just have to feel it. Step number 6. Transfer the sl slightly warm solution into the glass or, or a container of your choice and let the cooling process continue there. It is important that we cool down the solution so that our sugar will not burn the moment that we dip the, the stick into the solution. Step number 7. Add and dissolve the food coloring into the solution while it is still slightly hot. By being hot, we were helping the food coloring to be dissolved evenly and at the same time, it will prevent the food coloring to clump at the bottom of our glass. I used a pink co food coloring for two of my sugar crystals to resemble an amethyst birdstone. Step number 8 is to submerge the stick coated with sugar which is prepared earlier into the solution. I also used a stopper or inserted a stopper on the top of the stick so that it will not move in its place. Let the stick be submerged in the solution for days and up to weeks and patiently wait for the crystals to form. Also, place it in a, in a location where it cannot be distorted. After a week and draining the solution, this is what 
I also made the pink one. Step 9 is to gently remove the stick out of the solution. Carefully remove the stick so that it will not lose any crystals. And to also ensure that the, that the totality or the presentation of, of our rock candy sticks are in good condition. Finished product. So I made a total of 3 rock candy crystals in a span of week. And I have here 2 purple rock candy crystals that resemble the amethyst burst birdstone and a pink one that resembles the rose quartz. Thank you for watching and God bless. May you have a sweet day ahead.